that voice? Bellius? Judith? Yes, it is I, Bellius. Or rather, I was once Bellius, but no more. What's going on here? Could the will of Bellius trapped in the Apatheia have... Amazing! I feel the waters of the world at my command. I am the ruler of the waters. Okay, so did it work? It's gone way beyond working. I never thought it would gain a will of its own. Humans? What creature am I? Though no longer Bellius the Intellicaea, you have granted life to me. I ask that you give me a name. A being that controls the essence of a material. Maybe you're a spirit. And so my name shall be... The Splishy Splashy Watercolor Queen! An ancient word for the ruler of the waters. How about Undin? Undin. Henceforth, I shall be known as the Spirit Undin. Ah, I feel the power swell within me. Such is the benefit of the air which you saw fit to gather for me. It wasn't any cakewalk either. Receive this now as token of my thanks. Undini, we need to get the world's air under control. Please lend us your power. Very well. However, my powers alone will be insufficient. Huh? I control only the waters. You must gather those who rule the other elements as well. The elements of earth, water, wind, and fire. We need at least three more. We'll need help from the other Entelakea, won't we? I doubt they'll turn into spirits just because we ask nicely. There are very few Entelakea left. Pharaoh, Gusios. And Baul! Not Baul. He hasn't taken in enough air to create an Apatheia. And on top of that, I won't allow it. Undine, do you have any ideas? The shining forest of Ariolumen and Revelings, the root of the world. Your friend Baul should know the location of these places. She disappeared! No, she is here. I feel her. It seems like the air crane has quieted down too even though we're not controlling Estelle's power. Really? So, Undine is controlling Estelle's power? You mean Estelle is really free? Yes. Yes! That's great, Estelle. Well, things are sure taking a turn for the strange. Yeah, I never would have dreamed any of this would happen. But we finally see the light at the end. <laughs> Rita, you look... happy. So do you, Yuri. There's no longer anything shackling Estelle. She can use her power without causing any harm to herself or unbalancing the air. So yeah... I'm happy. Estelle's really free! But there's no guarantee she won't overdo things again, though. We'll just watch her closely. If we don't, she might go back to healing people till she keels over.
Is Undine really here? Yes. I can't really explain it, but she is here. I can sense it. Well, she was created through Estelle. So maybe the two are connected. Very interesting. Hey, save the research for later, okay? I know, I know. You don't have to... What, what was that just now? Isn't that where? It came from the direction of Zaude. No. Has Zaude stopped working? Uh oh. Do you think we might have done something to set this off? That is the true catastrophe. That thing does look like it could eat the whole world. What are we supposed to do about something like that? Hey, Rita. Duke said the Autophagos was born from air. Huh? So, if the spirits convert air into matter, could we do something about the Autophagos if we had enough spirits? I don't know. I just... I don't know. But... I do think it's worth a try. Let's try it, Yuri! Then it's settled. Baul! Yes, I see. Thank you. The servants of the Autophagos are attacking the city, Nordopolica. <gasps> I guess we can't ignore something like that. Let's go. Oh, I'm gonna hurt that idiot who brought the Autophagos back. What could have happened at Zaude? Those nut jobs probably fiddled with the thing too much and broke it. Thanks to Alexei, Zaude's no longer functioning like it was meant to. This guy just never learns, does he? Things are gonna have to hit bottom before he consider changing his ways. But they see that thing about to eat the planet, right? Even an idiot would understand the situation. I sure hope so. Thank you. 
That black thing. That's what we saw in the sands of Kogor. That was Pharaoh's vision. This is real. Be careful. It looks like it's trying to eat the air of the shield. Is the Atafagos drawn to air? This thing looks pretty mean. Come on! easy hey we have stuff to do you know that's the logical outcome 